We've got the best drivers in the world right here, right now, racing for 2015's first big Australian prize. And Matt Bell defends into Hell Corner for the first time, but he goes a little wide and Van Ter tries to do the over and under. He's got a tiny bit of overlap. He's going to try and come Buffalo Gals around the outside. If he can do that into Griffin's bed, he deserves to win this race. He's pulled alongside. He's nosed ahead, but Bell on the inside surely can hold on. The big Bentley has got a break super late. He's offline, though. Can he hold on to it? This is magnificent stuff. And watch the second of the cars behind. That's not in the fight for the lead, but he could get involved in it if they're not careful. That was cool driving by both. Carbon copy of 2015. Squeeze the car on the outside wide to the curb, and you will have the right of way on the inside line. It is the place to be there, but you've got to go brave and deep up into Griffin's Bend. Great defensive driving by Matt Bell, but Lawrence Vantor has been the fastest driver all weekend, continues to apply the pressure. We go back seven cars to find the Nissan GTR. Five cars. Five He's already cars. got two to find the Nissan GTR, but look how good the Audi R8 is across the top. That's been its key strength all weekend long. So I'm looking at Falcon Tire's elbow for a move from Lawrence Vantor because the across the top through the slow stuff and the aero stuff is where this car has been its strongest watch it down here key overtaking opportunity down the outside but bell defends Vantor yeah. will have a good run down the straight and there's nothing between these two in a straight line remember what the teammates that are in that audi was saying they've lost a bit of top end since it got warmer here the bentley seems to gear a bit and don't forget chio san in the 35 he's, he's catching. he is catching i saw the headlights there in the background look stoic now just four positions between these two and the third place car and matt bell is doing a lot of defending here he's trying to get the temps up on the michelin tires and get this bentley back in its operating window he's already to drivers left coming down into the final corner at Maguire's and all of this is backing the field up and here comes Chio down the inside he's going to be on the back of these guys in another lap and if that the way that's going at the moment he's now only got three cars between him and this battle for the lead into hell corner and up back straight another time now will Matty Bell be able to hold on to it again he takes the slightly defensive line this time Van Tour stays behind and in the gap in the air if Matt Bell keeps driving like this Chio is going to be on this battle for the race lead he will be there and the nissan will buy into it and we'll have a three-way fight for the race victory this time van thor sticks behind the leader one car it's that audi there he is jmec pem racing audi is in this well, and it's a lapped car it may be a deciding lapped car it'll need to let chio by very very quickly and the nissan gtr has cruised on the leading battle slow out of the cutting and a nudge from the audi he gave the bentley a whack there slow drive onto the top of the mountain but it's helped the bentley if anything and there's a car <laughs> length between the two of them it's like the old swing by when you're doing the velodrome racing isn't it get you made a little bit further up the road and for once there's a bit of clear grey tarmac between the leader and second place man here comes Chio up on that lap Audi look a couple of cars back as they go over the 7 new skyline area down into the S's this is as much breathing space as man has had since the restart Stefan Booker not in the fight at the moment he's uh, another well he's actually caught he's catching up now to Chio and he's only another second further back you know we could have four guys battling for this in half a lap's time but who's going to be quickest down the mountain because all day it's been the Nissan he's right there with that Left car between. If he can pull past that, use that toe, he's going to be right with these two. He's through. He's going into the final 10 minutes of this race. It's fingernail biting oh. time, but not those. They're too highly manicured as he's first, through. second, and third. The are Audi did together. The Audi did the right thing, just pulled to the Correct. side, lifted off, and let the Nissan go. He is in this fight. How hard is Matt Bell driving car 10? You will not see a car more rip limited here comes as that was across the top of Mount Panorama. Here comes Aston Martin too. He's just got two cars between him and the Nissan now. It could be four cars. It's going to be, it's going to be a quartet battling for this 2015 top step. Now is the time to take stock, to breathe in. What have you got left in the fast locker? It's time to open the bottom drawer, take it out and throw it at Mount Panorama. There's no sense in leaving it behind. Look, there is two cars back from this triple battle for the lead. Heading up Mount Street one more Chio. time. Here comes Chio in the Nissan. He's going to have to go the long way around. He's almost got the left wheels on the grass as they go. But Griffins, I think he's got alongside. He surely can't get through from there, but he'll cut back onto the right-hand side. Man, that Nissan's quick.
watch it down Conrod straight because we know the Audi isn't the fastest car in a straight line. No, and remember the patience that Chio showed earlier on going through traffic when he was in third and fourth position. That's gone out the window now. He wants to be at the front because he knows a fast Aston Martin and a fast Aston Martin works driver in Stefan Mucke is coming up the hill. Safety car. Safety car is out. That Safety could be car it. is out. That, that could, could be, be it. it. Oh, we've been robbed. We've been robbed here of a finish. Goodness me. Oh, it's the cross. The leader. Oh, the leader in B. Class B. Second oh. place in Class B, the Century Batteries GT3 car has been chasing down the 47, the, oh, the other Porsche, and it looks as though he's beached it. Oh, and he's done it on his own as well, trying to take too much speed in. Tyres not up two temps, and that car, without a snatch tractor down there, that car is stuck. There is no better place to be than in front of the Channel 7 feet to watch the final throw of the 2015 Liquid Molly Bathurst 12 hours. Is this not the best place in the world? Mount Panorama, time and time and time again, delivers amazing motor racing. Four and a bit minutes to go. Seven brands in the top seven, five fighting for victory after 12 of the most brutal hours you will ever see at this place. And three line astern as they come to what we hope will be the final green flag. Let's keep this green. Let's see this one. Guy Smith, it will green never flag. have seen anything like this. It's an honour and a privilege to be trackside now and calling this one for you as Matt Bell has to do it all again. The green flag waving, but it's Matt Bell who's... Con trawling the pace of the field. Now take a deep breath, suck it up, fellas, because you've got five minutes, four minutes and eight seconds to do. Don't take a breath. Oh, she has gone through. Brilliant piece of timing. If that stands, it's brilliant, and he's up in the second place. I don't think there was an overlap on the line, and he's going to go for the lead through Hell Corner. He's already in the slipstream of the big Bentley. The two biggest, widest, meanest, hairiest cars are going head-to-head -head on the mountain street. This is astonishing stuff from chio San. The fiery young Japanese he's driver he's goes so to the lead. That is remarkable. He's done two of them. They're not at Griffin Corner yet. 3.36 on the clock. And Nissan leads on the mountain. The GTR Godzilla has eaten the field to now. And they are back with a vengeance. Absolutely astonishing stuff. That was perfectly timed from Chio as they crossed the line. He absolutely blasted by the Audis and went down to turn one. And did the same again in turn three to the Bentley. Amazing stuff. Can he keep it together? Military settings on the Nissan now. It's pedal to the metal, and he's pulled out five, six, ten cars lengths as he goes across. We can hear the spectators clapping as he goes across. This is going to be a famous Van victory. Van Tour for second place on the big Bentley, who has hung out for so long. Matt Bell will be desperate to hold on to. This one, I'm not sure he's going to be able to do it down Conrad Street. Vanto will drive underneath the Bentley if he has to. He's got the fastest car here. Absolutely on the limit, down into the elbow and squeezes him wide. And they'll drag race down Conrad Street. Not quite. Bell holds on. And the big Bentley is doing the business in the fight for the podium. There's going to be another lap, maybe another two here, guys. Look at the time, 2.24. It's going to be close to whether they do one more after this, and it'll all be down to when Chio crosses the line. The blue it's flag's gone. been weird. The oh, Nissan's gone. The Bentley locking up there, or was it some fluid coming out the back? There was certainly something on the back wheels. I think that was a touch, a touch earlier. At the top of Conrad straight from the Audi on the back of the Bentley. I think we've got some touching bodywork there. Coming round with two or three, two or two. This is going to be it. It's 48 on the clock, plus one lap, and the white flag is out, or it would be if we were in the US. One more to go down to the first corner, and watch out for the battle further down as well. Watch because out for Mucker, John. He's yeah. catching the Audi for third position. Yeah, he's holding him in in the last lap, and Vantor just doesn't quite have the ultimate pace he had last time. A minute 37 on the clock will confirm 100% if this is the last lap. But Chio is driving up the road. The Nissan GTR, it won here in 91, it won here in 92, has not touched the podium since then. Somewhere in the world, Darren Cox, the boss of motorsport for Nissan, will be having kittens. It's 6.48 in the morning in the UK. DC's just closed on his new house.
He's celebrating that. He's celebrating an LMP1 program. And in about a lapse time, he will be celebrating a victory here. The GT Academy graduates with Chio have pulled off a remarkable masterstroke. Rob, Bob Neville and RGN with the Nismo Global Athlete Team have put it to the best in the world. They've taken on the mountain. They've beaten them all. And at the moment, it's Chio by a couple of seconds. And then the battle for second, third and fourth. There's two more steps on the podium and it's musical chairs here. And when the music stops, some one of these three Whoa. is going to be left without a sit. That is and huge. Lanzo has come round the outside. Vantoa has come around the corner and almost got it. And here comes Mucker. Mucker is right in the slipstream oh, as well. This is astonishing. With the final spot on the podium, Stefan Mucker drives oh. the Aston Martin round the Audi R8 down Conrad Strait. He's in the top of the Bentley. It's helped him get by in the Aston's third. Final lap. Leader is on the last lap. Vantoa comes for a huge long way back into the mission of Chase. He tries to go around the inside. Chio's ahead of all this and is going to win for this ball. But who's going to be second, third, and fourth? There's still one big breaking area to come. Once again, Bathurst delivers a great finish. And it's a Nismo GTR that wins it for Nissan. Chio wins it. Second, third, and fourth across the line. Bell got to fourth right at the last turn. The Audi finishes the race second place. And then the, the, the Aston Martin comes home third. Let's have a look again. And there you can quite clearly see that was a clear restart. There was no overlap. On the line there for the Nissan, they'll be looking at that carefully. And Chio already threw into second and then tried to go through into the lead and did it. The Maguire's replay shows it well. We've talked up the straight line speed all day long. I really need to see what happened in that final corner for second and third, though. For a moment there, it looked like the Audi might have fallen off the road as well.